To illustrate the relationship between distance and time and speed and time, we're going to look at this car as it moves down a ramp and then hits flat ground. For the purposes of this relationship, we've turned off the resistance of air and the friction between the tires and the ground. Normally these two forces would act to slow the car down, the friction between the tires and the, and the ground, and the air resistance as the car moves through the air. Now, when we push play, the car will accelerate down the ramp. When it hits the bottom of the ramp and continues on smooth ground, it will find a constant velocity and stay at that constant velocity until a force acts upon it. Now, let's take a look at this graph and see what kind of relationships we can find from the graph. So after a few seconds here, we can see that as the car moves down the ramp, we do have an increase in velocity which is given by the curve in the graph. Now when it hits the bottom of the ramp, it continues on that flat ground. And we can see a constant velocity is reached of 10.561 meters per second. So if we change our graph and change the relationship, instead of distance versus time looking at speed versus time we can run the exact same scenario when the car reaches the bottom of the ramp continues at a constant speed now the acceleration as the car moves down the ramp is constant because gravity is constant so the acceleration that that car experienced is given here in the summary as 2.438 meters per second squared. Every second we're changing our velocity by 2.438 meters per second. <clears throat> when the car reaches the bottom of the ramp it again finds reaches a constant velocity of 10.561 meters per second. The other thing we can calculate here from this graph is the distance traveled. The distance traveled is given by the area under the graph. So that would be calculated using the expression x times y divided by 2. So after one second, we can see here, given as the last calculation in the summary box, we've traveled 5.34 meters. After the next second, traveled 13.08 meters.